In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the same object, but uh, we use the sketch-based approach uh, as we did this before, and we're going to take a look at the, utilizing primitives in order to create the same object. So I'm going to start a new design file, and within this one, I'm going to go and create a new component. We'll call this dimensioning object 3, and I'm going to go ahead and create a box primitive. So utilizing the front plane as before. So this one here from this edge here, the height of this is going to be three. The width of this will be three and a half. I'll hit enter. The overall thickness, 2.5, or the overall depth, 2.5. Okay, very similar. I'm going to go ahead and create a new box primitive. For this one, I'm going to select the top, very, the top, very similar to how I sketched from before. From this bottom corner, I'm going to go ahead and draw out in this direction. And as we do that, I'm going to end up taking a look at this is going to be a, a two by two and a half wide box as we do that. I'm going to go ahead and click. I'm going to drag down into the space negative 0.5 for our measurement, and I'm going to go ahead and say OK. To repeat the process, I'm going to click Box Primitive, select my face that I was working off of there, click off this corner, draw. This is going to be a 1.5 by 2 for this component. I'm going to drag down. The height on this will end up being a negative 1, and I'm going to say OK. So there's our, there's our object there. In order to get our Whole, we can use a primitive utilizing a cylinder. So I'm going to click cylinder, choose my face there, and then the thing is about this thing is about this. I'm going to zoom in on this area. Is you can just hover over. Again, I'm not clicking, but you can find the midpoint of these of these parts by just hovering over and finding. So there's a little triangle icon that's going to indicate the midpoint. So after you've indicated it once, you'll see there is the midpoint of those two lines being noted there. So I'm going to go ahead and you'll see those blue lines helping you maintain that. So I'm just going to click. This is going to have a one inch diameter. And then I, once I click, I'm going to drag down, cut. The rest of the material is going to end up being what, what I'm going to end up cutting, which would be a negative one and a half. So as I take a look at the dimensions, and there you'd also see it comes through the bottom. And I can say OK. All right, so this is one thing that uh, this is just a way, to, another way to make this object utilizing primitives. And uh, this is how the activity kind of specifies with making this object. So, but there's also, you know, the sketch based approach would also work as well. So just another way of creating the same object 